British monarchs. So in British English literature, there are various queens, various kings. Uh, sometimes they are son of the previous king or sometimes they are daughter. Sometimes there is uh, the also example wherein husband and wife, king and queen, they are ruling together. So let's focus on this chronology uh, of monarchy of kings and queens related with British literature. So I guess my voice is fine. And you can hear my voice as well. So let's continue with our discussion. British monarchs. Right. So I'm not covering from the very beginning because uh, the important ones, the British monarchs, the important ones are from where uh, William Shakespeare started including these in our plays. So uh, when we later on, when we will study William Shakespeare, we will discuss his plays in three different categories. One is tragedies, one is comedies, and the uh, third one is histories. So there are various British monarchs, British kings, British queens, based on whom or based on whose, whom, whose life, William Shakespeare wrote different plays. So those kings and queens, those monarchs, they are important for our exam. Because they are and life ke upar based on our exam mein questions, aate, we will cover the chronology. So I'm starting this list or I'm starting this chronology uh, starting from Henry II and there on we will continue the discussion. Now various lines are involved in this chronology. Do you understand line? When I say line, this represents bloodline. Uh, which family is a family? When the family is a son and the son of the son of the son, when they become a king, they believe that there is a line. It means that there is a particular family is saal se is saal tak continue hui so how we will study this i'll also mention lines ke bhai kahan se kahan tak kaun sa line tha par wo utna important nahi hai uh, i'll mention kings names and also their tenure but agar bilkul aapko lag raha hai ki bhai hum ekdam se itna sara nahi yaad kar sakte ki bhai raja ka naam bhi yaad kar rahe hain aur unka tenure bhi yaad kar rahe hain to leave this tenure thing for your uh, second step or third time study First, try to remember the order or the chronology. Ki sa raja ke baad sa raja aaya. This will help you in understanding the complete English literature. No, not all monarchs are important. I'll uh, mark uh, side in the side that you should study this monarch. This one is very important and this is average and you can ignore these monarchs because they have not done a, a, like very much considering English literature part. So you can ignore these monarchs and I have never seen questions <laughs> from their part. So I'll give you the hint side by side. So let's start with Henry the second. So first one, Henry the second. And what is the duration or the reign tenure? It is 1154 to 1189. Then Richard the first, Richard the first from 1189 to 1199. Then comes John. Now John is important. John is important. 1199 to 1260. So John was brother of Richard the first he was brother of Richard the first and there was also son of Richard the first so there was this a uh, continuous war a uh, series of civil war wherein some parties were uh, in favor of John to be the next king and some parties were in favor of Richard's son to be the next king. So, wo jo unki jo hui thi, wo thodi si important ho gai thi. And this one is also important. Kyu? Kyu William Shakespeare ne iske upar play likha tha. To kaun important ho gaya? King John. King John is important. We will study uh, the events or the uh, characters involved in the play in detail when we will study William Shakespeare. So, John is important. Try to remember the year. 1199 to 
1216. He was brother of Richard the First. Now, next one is Henry the Third. Henry the Third. So, 1216 to 1272. Then, Edward the First. Edward the Second. Edward the third. Then comes Richard the second. Now Richard the second is again important. Why? Because there is again play based on Richard the second written by William Shakespeare. So what are the years for these Edwards? I'm just writing if you don't want to like learn it by heart, you can ignore 1307, 1307 to 1327, then 1327 to 1377 and 1377 till 1399. Now, this complete series from here to here is one bloodline. One bloodline. So, you can remember this as Plantagenet line. So plays till now we have covered these monarchs and plays were written on King John and Richard the third. Who wrote the plays? William Shakespeare on King John and Richard the second. So while discussing history plays, this discussion will also help you in remembering the what is the chronology of the history plays uh, which are written by William Shakespeare based on British monarchs. So this one will be the chronology first King John, then Richard the second. So last one in this line is Richard the second. After that, Henry the fourth. Henry the fourth from thirteen ninety nine to fourteen thirteen. Now Henry Henry Bolingbroke was cousin of Richard the second, and he captured him, and that's why he became the next king. He was not from this line; he was from Lancaster line. So once I like. Write down all the names. I'll highlight from which monarch to which monarch. This is Lancaster line. You must remember War of Roses. War of Roses. Two houses ke beech mein ladai chal rahi thi. Lancaster line and York line. Aur phir wo kab end hua tha? Jab Lancaster line ka Henry the Seventh and York line ki Elizabeth. They got married. I also discussed this point in the previous class. Jab hum log padh rahe the wo literary periods. Early Tudor period. Maine aapko bataya tha. जिसके अंदर ये सारी चीजें हुई थी हेनरी दी सेवन फिर बेटा हेनरी दी एट फिर उसका बेटा एडवर्ड दी सिक्स फिर मैरी जिसको ब्लडी मैरी कहा गया एंड देन केम क्वीन एलिजाबेथ दी गोल्डन एज टाइम पीरियड है ना तो ये लैंकेस्टर लाइन की शुरुआत है आफ्टर हेनरी दी फोर्थ हेनरी दी फिफ्थ फोर्टीन थर्टीन to 1422 then henry the 6th 1422 to 1461 okay. and this is lancaster line these henrys all the three Henrys, they are important. So they are son. Henry V is son of Henry IV. Henry VI is son of Henry V. 
so same line same bloodline and lancaster line and important yes very important because william shakespeare wrote plays on henry the fourth in two parts henry the fourth part one and henry the fourth part two he wrote play based on henry the fifth he wrote play based on henry the sixth in three parts Henry the sixth part one, Henry the sixth part two, and Henry the sixth part three. So all the three Henrys: Henry the fourth, two plays; Henry the fifth, one play; Henry the sixth, three plays. Important monarchs. So please try to remember the year as well, and also they belong to which line? Lancaster line. And this Henry Bolingbroke was cousin of Richard the second. He captured him and then became. The next king. Okay. After this came our next monarch, Edward the Fourth, from fourteen sixty one to fourteen eighty three, and then Richard the Third. From fourteen eighty three to fourteen eighty five, these two are from York line. York line. Now Henry the sixth was asked to uh, make the right candidate, the monarch, and he was like, "You let me live, and I'll definitely give uh, the next." Uh, i'll declare my heir or the next king from york uh, fathers of these two are brothers these two are brothers so he promised uh, he gave this promise to their father but the father died and hence they were also like they were not waiting for his death and also uh, after henry the 6th edward the 4th became the king now when he became the king there was also his son small baby and richard and there was also this third uh, brother they gave their blessing to that child or everybody was happy ke ha bilkul sab acha acha chalega aur edward the fourth ke baad next raja kon banta edward the fifth yahi process hai this is the rule ki ek raja agar uski death hoti hai to uska beta raja banta hai bhai ki turn nahi hoti bete ki turn hoti hai so he was ill he was like supposed to die soon and had two sons so the eldest one uh, was like he will be the next king and will be named edward the 5th but what richard did he became the royal criminal in william shakespeare's play richard the 3rd is mentioned as royal criminal why because he got both his nephews uh, captured and imprisoned in tar one of the very popular incidents in british literature and then nobody knew about what happened to those boys no idea no information nothing zero and he became the next king so yes there is this uh, like talk or documentation of edward the 5th who was the son of edward the 4th but again technically he was never crowned jo wo hota na gaddi pe baitha ke mukut pehnana and everything so he was never crowned but yes he was supposed to be the next king so there is a talk and documentation about him edward the 5th he was that prince who was captured and uh, imprisoned in tar and then nobody was having any idea or any information what happened to those boys and ye sab kisne kara unke uncle ne jinhone actually blessings di thi ke bhai bahut acha tumhara life ho tumhara time ho so he is richard the third is the royal criminal and ye dono bhai kahan se the york line se apne teesre bhai ko bhi marwaya tha isi ne so royal criminal after that henry the seventh Henry the seventh, fourteen eighty five to fifteen zero nine. Then Henry the eighth, fourteen 
1509 to 1547, then Edward the sixth, Mary the first, and Elizabeth the first. Edward the sixth. 1547 to 1553, Mary the first, 1553 to 1558, and Elizabeth, 1558 to 1603. Now, this line is Tudor line. This line is Tudor line. Now let's understand Tudor line. So these guys from Lancaster line, these guys from York line, and they are continuously fighting for who is the right heir. Now this war is known as War of Roses because one party was having this emblem of white rose. The other party was having the emblem of red rose. And later on, what Henry the seventh did. So Richard the third was uh, having bad intentions or bad feelings towards uh, his niece, Elizabeth of York. And she was very scared of Richard. So she asked help from Henry the seventh, who was actually from Lancaster line. So she asked help from him. And he's like, okay, I'll save you. I'll save you from Richard the third. And with this, they got married. So Rich Elizabeth of York and Henry the Seventh of Lancaster line, they got married. Now, if he will follow Lancaster line, then obviously York will, uh, will not be happy. And if he will follow York line, then obviously his family will not be happy. So they all together went ahead with Tudor line. So Henry the Seventh initiated the Tudor line and closed the war of roses with their marriage so henry the seventh got married to elizabeth of york and this is the end of war of roses now henry the seventh had son henry the eighth now henry the eighth ki kahani thoda sa bhi main detail mein bataungi unka kya tha ki iska na ek bada bhai tha henry the eighth ka aur uski shaadi ho rakhi thi catherine of aragon se but वो बीमार पड़ गया and उसको मतलब crown पहनाते उसको राजा बनाते इससे पहले ही उसकी death हो गई ना Catherine of Aragon was a very wonderful queen Catholic beliefs की थी जो भी rules regulations and everything सब बहुत ही properly follow करती थी and she was not having any son or heir तो क्या हुआ कि भाई राजा कौन बनेगा Henry VIII और उसकी शादी कर दी गई brothers widow Catherine of Aragon से and people were very happy with the queen मतलब जैसे वो queen की definition होती है ना उस तरीके से बड़ी अच्छी queen ठीक daughter हुई daughter Mary now he is like I want a son and also he was in love with one of the lady in waiting. Jo hamari queen thi, queen ke saath kya hoti hai? Ladies hoti hai, jo tiyar karti hai, aur dekhal karti hai, aur they were having different responsibilities. So usme ek thi Anne Boleyn. So Anne Boleyn se pehle uske sister bhi thi, but utna hamari liye itna abhi is samay relevant nahi hai, so we will ignore the sister. Sidhe Anne Boleyn pe aate hain. And he was interested in having son with Anne Boleyn. Phir usne kuch shadi wadi ka compulsion kiya and he was also like, yes, I should get married. Because Queen jo Catherine of Aragon thi, uska bhi age ho gaya tha. And it was like ki bhaiya wo aur bachche nahi honge uske. Aur isko to beta chahiye tha. To he wanted divorce from Catherine of Aragon. And people were not in favor of this divorce. Because wo to achhi queen thi. Uh, Pope was not agreeing this, was not in agreement with this, Queen was not in agreement with this, some uh, high position holders were not in agreement with this. This is like, kaha ki, let's change the rule. Kya kara? Renesa. Yes. Now, the king or the queen will be the head of the Church of England. 
पहले पोप होते थे जो रोमन कैथोलिक रूल्स थे उसके हिसाब से अलग कर दिया अब इंग्लैंड का चर्च अलग हो गया और उसका हेड कौन हो गया किंग या फिर क्वीन अब जब वो हेड हो गया वो नेक्स्ट टू गॉड हो गया तो वो जो भी चाहे रूल्स कर सकता है एंड देन ही ब्लेम्ड कैथरीन फॉर वेरियस थिंग्स एंड ऑल एंड फाइनली उनका सेपरेट हो जाते हैं ना फिर वो शादी कर लेता है किससे एनबलिन से एनबलिन से बेटा होता है डॉटर एलिजाबेथ फिर एक और शादी होती है फिर एक बेटा होता है एडवर्ड दी सिक्स ना इफ यू विल चेक दी क्रोनोलॉजी देखिए हेनरी दी सेकेंड हेनरी दी थर्ड हेनरी दी फोर्थ हेनरी दी फिफ्थ हेनरी दी सिक्स हेनरी दी सेवेंथ हेनरी दी एट्थ ऑर्डर में चल रहे हैं हम लोग एडवर्ड देखते हैं एडवर्ड फर्स्ट एडवर्ड सेकेंड एडवर्ड थर्ड एडवर्ड फोर्थ एंड देन एडवर्ड सिक्स बीच में एडवर्ड फिफ्थ नहीं है वो कौन सा वाला है वो प्रिंस एंड टार वाला एडवर्ड दी फिफ्थ जिसको एडवर्ड दी फोर्थ के बाद राजा बनना था बट बिकॉज ऑफ अंकल्स बैड इंटेंशन उसको कभी भी क्राउन या uh, उसको मतलब गद्दी पे नहीं बैठने को मिला सो ही वॉज देयर फॉर इज नेम वॉज देयर फॉर सम अप्रिल टू जून इन दी सेम ईयर फिफ्टीन एटी थ्री फॉर सम मंथ्स ही इज डॉक्यूमेंटेड टू बी दी किंग बट नॉट इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर आस बिकॉज वो प्रॉपर क्राउन वाला उसका पॉइंट नहीं है इसलिए मैं यहाँ पे मैंशन नहीं कर रही हूँ सो वो एडवर्ड दी फिफ्थ है ठीक फिर एडवर्ड दी सिक्स हेनरी दी एट्थ का सन फिर ये इसकी फर्स्ट डॉटर डॉटर फर्स्ट और ये इसकी सेकेंड डॉटर डॉटर सेकेंड सो मेरी किस वाइफ से कैथरीन ऑफ एरेगॉन से एलिजाबेथ किस वाइफ से एन बोलेन से ठीक So, ये सब हो गया हमारा ट्यूटर लाइन ना एलिजाबेथ दी फर्स्ट नेवर गॉट मैरिड कोई बेटा नहीं कोई हस्बैंड नहीं एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दिस भाई मर गया बहन मर गई एलिजाबेथ की भी डेथ हो गई तो फिर ये लाइन हमारा यहाँ पे एंड हो जाता है अब राजा किसको बनाए तो स्कॉटलैंड में उस समय देर वॉज दिस किंग जेम्स दी फोर्थ हुआ कि जेम्स को ही बनाते हैं राजा अब यहाँ पे कभी कोई जेम्स दिखा आपको I have written James anywhere? No. So James became James the first of England. और एक साथ वो पूरा अपना रोल कर रहे थे एंड ही स्टार्टेड दी स्टूवर्ड लाइन जो नया लाइन स्टार्ट हुआ वो कौन सा हुआ स्टूवर्ड लाइन अच्छा इसमें से मैं आपको विलियम शेक्सपियर वाला बताना भूल गई ओके सो प्लेज आर बेस्ड ऑन किंग जॉन प्लेज आर बेस्ड ऑन रिचर्ड दी सेकेंड प्लेज आर बेस्ड ऑन हेनरी दी फोर्थ इन टू पार्ट हेनरी दी फिफ्थ इन वन पार्ट हेनरी दी सिक्स इन थ्री पार्ट देन प्ले इज ऑन रिचर्ड दी थर्ड देन प्ले इज ऑन हेनरी दी एट ये आपका हिस्ट्री में लास्ट प्ले है so how many monarchs are covered in william shakespeare history plays 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 how many monarchs seven monarchs how many plays 10 plays please remember the difference how many kings seven kings and how many history plays by william shakespeare 10 plays why 10 plays because two plays are based on henry the fourth and three plays are based on henry the sixth so how many plays 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 so in the chronology last play is based on henry the seventh and when william shakespeare is writing all these plays during the rule of elizabeth the first he is writing all these history plays ओके लेट मी नो इफ देयर आर एनी क्वेश्चंस किसी का कोई क्वेश्चन समझ में आ रहा है सब थोड़ा uh, ये है कि बहुत सारा इंफॉर्मेशन मैं आपको एक साथ ही बता रही हूँ बट इसको करते चलेंगे ये इंपॉर्टेंट है देन स्टूवर्ड लाइन में James the first, sixteen zero three to sixteen twenty five. Stuart line. Then Charles the first, sixteen twenty five to sixteen forty nine. 
then lord protector oliver cromwell then charles the second 1662 1685 and james the second 1685 to 1688 now there is long list of monarchs but not very important considering our exams later on only queen victoria is important because uh, during her time the this literary form novel came in, into popularity and also society was following very strict rules of etiquette and everything and novelists such as charles dickens thomas hardy became popular also your critics matthew arnold became very very popular poets tennyson became the poet laureate and also robert browning and elizabeth barrett browning they were very popular during this time so after this queen victoria is important now this line is steward line steward line now this lord protector time no monarchy was there so what happened james the first became the king and he introduced english bible or uh, earlier bible used to be in hebrew and other such difficult languages which were of uh, high uh, people or for uh, that belong to pope and clergy or wo matlab difficult language tha jo common people tha jo aam janta thi usko wo languages nahi aate the unko english aati thi so he is known for that bringing english bible for common people and now they can read their bible on their own and know what all is written there charles the first ke time bhi bahut zyada civil war hua अब क्या हुआ कुछ लोग थे जो पार्लियामेंट में बिलीव करते थे कुछ लोग मनारकी में बिलीव करते थे एंड देर वर ऑल्सो दीज पोइट्स मेटाफिजिकल पोइट्स जो उनको इन दोनों से मतलब नहीं था दे वर राइटिंग बेस्ड ऑन देयर ओन थॉट्स एंड बिलीव सो बहुत ज्यादा सिविल वॉर चले एंड चार्ल्स द फर्स्ट ये वाला जो ईयर है सिक्सटीन फोर्टी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ईयर बिकॉज इन दिस ईयर देर वॉज दिस एग्जीक्यूशन ऑफ मनाक बाई कॉमन पीपल जो पार्लियामेंटेरियन थे जो प्योरिटन थे दे वर नॉट फ्रॉम ब्लड लाइन दे आर नॉट फ्रॉम लाइक रॉयल ब्लड पीपल दे वर नॉर्मल पीपल हाउ एवर गॉड पीपल सपोर्ट एंड केम टू इम्पॉर्टेंट पोजिशन एंड देन दिस देर वॉज दिस पब्लिक एग्जीक्यूशन ऑफ चार्ल्स द फर्स्ट किंग वॉज बिहेडेड और किल्ड और एग्जीक्यूटेड देन देर इज दिस टेन्योर ऑफ इलेवन ईयर्स सिक्सटीन फोर्टी नाइन टिल सिक्सटीन सिक्सटी नो मनारकी कोई राजा नहीं किसका रूल था लॉर्ड प्रोटेक्टर कहीं ही वॉज लाइक अट मोस्ट स्ट्रिक्ट टाइम फॉर द कॉमन मैन थिएटर्स व क्लोज कहीं पे भी आप इस तरीके से एंटरटेनमेंट नहीं कर सकते गा नहीं सकते म्यूजिक नहीं ये नहीं वो नहीं गैदरिंग नहीं एंड वेरी सफोकेटिंग टाइम फॉर दोज पीपल उन्होंने कहा नहीं नहीं हमें ये सब नहीं चाहिए मनारकी वापस लो हमारे लिए तो राजा ही बढ़िया है so lord protector oliver cromwell for 10 years and one year for his son fir wapas se monarchy ko laya gaya jo dukes the jo uh, lords the wo jeette hain and charles the second is restored on the throne and that's why this period is known as restoration period this period is known as restoration period uh, it's the first category under neoclassical period theek for james the second is ke baad and there is this also long list and in in midway queen victoria is important so we'll remember queen victoria okay so some important points related with british monarchs i'll show you other monarchs as well uh, okay 
so we covered this charles the first charles the first done and he, there were supporters of the crown they were known as cavaliers and there were supporters of parliament they were called round heads and 7 years later in 1649 charles was captured sent to the tower and beheaded it was the only public execution of a monarch jisko logo ke samne maar diya gaya iske baad 10 years of protectorate headed by puritan oliver cromwell fir ek saal ke liye for a year his son richard aur wo jo bahut hi stern role tha uski wajah se hua ki nahi bhai let's reestablish the monarchy to fir kya hua charles the second ko dobara laya gaya 1660 se 1685 tak he had this 25 year reign jisko kya kaha gaya restoration restoration then they had no children so charles was succeeded by his brother james the second so ye abhi aapka yahan se dekho kaun sa line shuru hua ye james the first se kaun sa line shuru hua steward line 1603 se kab tak chalega 1714 tak so this will be in your study material and you can go through this period so james the second ke baad william the third and mary the second then and the first then yahan se hanover line start ho gaya george the first george the second george the third they were not even knowing english इनको इंग्लिश भी नहीं आती थी दे वर जर्मन पीपल एंड इन फैक्ट दिस किंग जॉर्ज द फर्स्ट नेवर लर्न टू स्पीक इंग्लिश देन जॉर्ज द सेकेंड ही डिड लर्न इंग्लिश एंड देन जॉर्ज द थर्ड वॉज द मोस्ट फर्स्ट वन टू ग्रो अप स्पीकिंग इंग्लिश इस तरीके से चल रहा है सब कुछ देन जॉर्ज द फोर्थ देन विलियम द फोर्थ सब चले आ रहा है देन दिस वन इज इंपॉर्टेंट विक्टोरिया एटीन थर्टी सेवन टू नाइनटीन जीरो वन ठीक है एंड शी वाज द लास्ट सरवाइविंग ग्रैंड चाइल्ड ऑफ जॉर्ज द थर्ड एंड बिकेम क्वीन एट द एज ऑफ 18 सो शी बिकेम एम्प्रेस ऑफ इंडिया जब हमारे समय रूल चल रहा था है ना शी वाज द क्वीन और कहां कहां थे ये लोग कनाडा में ऑस्ट्रेलिया में न्यूजीलैंड में साउथ अफ्रीका में कॉलोनीज थी ब्रिटिश कॉलोनीज व देयर कॉलोनियल पीरियड एंड ऑल है ना हस्बैंड की जल्दी डेथ हो जाती है बट शी लिव डिल एज एटी वन एंड दिस पर्टिकुलर टाइम इज नोन एज विक्टोरियन एरा सो लॉन्गेस्ट माना जाता है इसके ट्रेन को ऑल्सो एलिजाबेथ दी सेकेंड जिनकी अभी डेथ हुई है और ये लाइन उस समय पॉपुलर थी दी सन नेवर सेट अपॉन द ब्रिटिश एम्पायर क्वीन विक्टोरिया एटीन थर्टी सेवन टू नाइनटीन जीरो वन एटीन थर्टी सेवन टू नाइनटीन जीरो वन प्लीज रिमेम्बर दिस इज इम्पॉर्टेंट फिर ये आपके छोटे छोटे राजा आते गए जॉर्ज एडवर्ड देन जॉर्ज ये आपकी लास्ट एलिजाबेथ दी सेकेंड 1952 फिफ्टी टू टू ठीक क्वीन एंजॉय द सेकेंड लॉन्गेस्ट ट्रेन आफ्टर विक्टोरिया ठीक है दिस इज ऑल अबाउट मनाक्स so i will share this sheet isme henry the second yahan jahan se maine shuru kare henry the second se lekar ke uh, queen elizabeth the second tak uh, there is this brief overview of each and every monarch and um, we will study um, henry the eighth in detail when we will study william shakespeare also richard the third also these henrys also richard the second and king john when we will study william shakespeare we'll study in detail james the first and charles the first and lord protector and charles the second when we will study john milton and brydon us time mein inke bare mein detail mein padhenge queen victoria ke bare mein detail mein padhenge jab hum log victorian age mein aayenge hai na so ye aapka idhar ye renaissance wala period ho gaya then usi ke andar james the first is jacobian age charles the first is caroline age then commonwealth period then restoration period uske baad so we'll talk about these monarchs in detail when we will study these respective uh, periods or ages so this is all from my side please go through your notes 
a couple of times so that we, you will set all these monarchs in their related order. Thank you.